Burnley 0-5 Arsenal, Saka scores twice as ruthless Arsenal thrash Burnley Premier League. We produced another incredible attacking away day to brush aside Burnley at Turf Moor. Having registered our record away Premier League win last weekend, we were back at it in the northwest, blowing away the relegation-threatened hosts. Martin Odegaard set the tone after just four minutes. Drilling home the opener before Bukayo Saka doubled the lead from the penalty spot. Saka began the second half with a tremendous second, and Leandro Trossard made it 4-0 as we began to run riot. Kai Havertz got in on the act to make it 5-0 with more than 10 minutes remaining to round off a thoroughly ruthless display and make it five wins on the trot and 21 goals scored in those victories. Odegaard's early opener Coming into the game brim full of confidence on the back of our high-scoring win over West Ham last week, we picked up where we left off at the London Stadium. There were barely five minutes on the clock when the skipper opened the scoring. From a move that started in our own box, Declan Rice fed the ball to Gabriel Martinelli, who raced away on the left flank. The Brazilian cut the ball back with the outside of his foot to the edge of the area, where Odegaard was waiting in the D. He had time to take a touch, then drive it low left-footed into the bottom corner. With typical precision. It was the perfect start and immediately put the hosts on the back foot. We then dominated possession for the next 20 minutes or so. But despite dictating the game, we were largely restricted to shots from outside the area. Rice and Saka both had speculative efforts blocked as the pace of the game dropped. Burnley threatened to grow into the game with half an hour on the clock. Aaron Ramsey drew a save from David Raya at his near post. But we remained patient in our build-up play and carved out a chance that Trossard could not make the most of. Some quick passes inside the box resulted in Saka squaring for the Belgian six yards out. But he took an air shot with the goal virtually at his mercy. Saka on the spot. Trossard made amends shortly afterwards though, winning the penalty that allowed us to double the lead. He was brought down by a desperate lunge from Lorenzo Sainon, when through on goal, and referee Jared Gillett had no hesitation pointing to the spot. Assignon picked up a yellow card for his mistimed challenge. Saka stepped up again and squeezed his penalty low into the corner, down to James Trafford's left. It was the England man's 14th goal of the campaign, following his brace last weekend, and his fourth successful penalty out of four this season. Ruthless Gunners it was by no means a free-flowing, swashbuckling opening half from Mikel Arteta's men, but we were rarely in trouble at the back. And thoroughly deserved the lead at the interval. We had been ruthless though, and continued in that vein as soon as the second half started. Once again it was the informed Saka who supplied the finishing touch. And what a finish it was! Odegaard's clever pass inside the box wrong-footed Hannes Delcroy and Saka shifted the ball from left foot to right, before rifling his shot high into the roof of the net at the near post. Havertz had played his part in the goal too, controlling well before finding his skipper. After a lengthy stop while Ramsey received treatment, Trossard spurned a couple of chances before he did eventually make it 4-0, all within the space of five minutes. First he dragged one wide with his left foot after being set up by a grounded Martinelli, then was just off target when aiming for the top corner. With his third chance though he would not be denied. Jakub Hewir fizzed in a cross from the left that either Saka or Havertz could have finished, but Trosser did, convincingly lashing home past Trafford. Arteta immediately turned to his bench, making a triple change, perhaps with Wednesday's trip to Porto on the mind. Relentless Gunners but the changes did not signify any let-up on the pitch, as the rain continued to fall at Turf Moor. Havertz, heavily involved all afternoon, was the next to get on the scoresheet. It was excellent play from the German, who picked up possession well outside the box, drove forward. Easily beat his man, then coolly slotted past the keeper. It meant we had scored at least five goals in consecutive away league games for the first time in our history. More importantly it earned us three more points. To maintain the pressure at the top of the table. What's next? 
After the winter break for European competition, we return to Champions League action this midweek, traveling to Porto for the first leg of our round of 16 game on Wednesday night. The Premier League program resumes against Newcastle United at Emirates Stadium on Saturday. Stats and Facts We have begun a calendar year with five successive league victories for the first time in the club's history. This is now our longest winning run in the Premier League this season, improving our goal difference by plus 19 during this period. We have scored five plus goals in back-to-back -back away league matches for the first time in our history. We are the first top-flight side to score five-plus goals in consecutive away games since Liverpool in October 2021. Our 25 set-piece goals this season including penalties is our most on record since 2004-05 in a single Premier League campaign. Indeed, we have scored eight penalties in the competition this term, only netting more in 2006-07-10. Since the start of last season, only five players have been involved in more Premier League goals than Martin Odegaard 33-20 goals. 13 assists, while he's had a hand in more goals than any other midfielder in the competition during this period. Duke Osaka has scored in four consecutive Premier League appearances for the first time in his career. Netting more goals across these four games six than in his previous 19 matches in the competition five, Thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.